What's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. What's going on? Hope y'all hanging in there. All right. Guys, man, I said, come with another video, man. What's going on with the Timberland boots? Timberland boots are really falling apart, deteriorating, washing away. You don't even have to wear them much, man. Let me show you guys. You pay 120 something, 130 bucks. For a pair of Timberlands, man, and this is what they're turning into. Completely garbage. And then they told me to send them back in to the company. And I got to pay the shipping? I'm kind of skeptical to try any more of your shoes if they're doing this new. Oh, I'm going to give you some new ones. Sure they ain't going to fall apart. <laughs> You sure six months down the road, they, the new ones ain't going to fall apart too? Man, look at there. These shoes, the sole was perfect condition. Hadn't even been worn much. As you can see, the threads and tracks in them. And one day I put them on, and this is what happened. Stuff treaded the pieces like washing powder. Look at there. Timberland. Picture of quality. Quality boots. And this is what they're looking like. At the end of the day, that's what you get. A sole with like deteriorating washing powder. See that? It's like washing powder. Things flaking all over here, which way, man. Getting your house all dirty. Look at it. Like deteriorating washing powder, man. Look at this. Stuff just falling all over the floor and everything. Hey. Quality Timberlands. You see the top of them looking good. See that? Only thing I see you can do with these is try to order your soul to go on them. That'll work. I don't know. Look at there. Quality, man. Okay, that's one of the Timberlands I want to show you guys. That's falling, deteriorating apart. All right? Now, imagine these are my favorite shoes. I love some Timberlands. But... I had to find a better shoe. I think I better go with the Nike ACGs or something. But look at here. Look at this one. Deteriorated. Flaking away like washing powder. Look at here. Shoes hardly even worn. Look at the top of them. Look how good they look. See? Deteriorated. Falling right away. Just like washing powder, man. Look at here. That's some sorry made shoes. That's not quality. That's garbage. All right, moving on, guys. Now, here's another example. I did a video like this before. Good looking boot. So, these basically brand spanking new boots. I wore them maybe one or two times. They sit in the room. I went to them one day when it got cold. You know, you don't really wear boots a whole lot during the summer months. Uh, you do every now and then. You know, I do. I wear boots during the summertime, but not black ones, mostly light color ones. I went to put these things on during the fall months for the rock them out, you know, dress up with them a little bit. Soles in perfect condition. Brand new. Look at there. Brand new. Nowhere whatsoever. Nowhere. Nowhere. Hardly even worn. Maybe one or two times at the most. No more than two times. And this is what you get. Hello. How you doing, people? And then, what make it so bad? Talk to the people, Timberland. Talk to them. How you doing? How you doing, guys? Yeah, so flapping. But you could be brand new, but we still flap. How you doing? A lips ain't even moving. Say hello to the people, man. Hello. Hello. How you doing, y'all? Uh, this is what I made of. I'm sorry, quality. See here? Quality is nothing. See? I charge you 150 bucks for them, and they still ain't made out of nothing. See there? Say hello. Can't even be fixed back. Hello. Never tell you why, guys. They can't be fixed back. Why? I went there. 
They glue the darn thing back up here. As you can see, some of the glue right there. Look at here. I tried to glue it back. As you can see, I tried, I tried. I tried. I tried. But guess what? The good looking boots. I went for the glue them back up there and the thing scratched. It's like the sole was bigger than the shoe. Like this is a size 14 shoe, right? The sole had scratched like to a size 17 or so, you know, a 17 shoe. <laughs> when I went to glue them back up there, it was like the thing was scratched out like this. I'm like, how in the world the sole scratch out longer than the shoe originally was? I know some of you guys had the same problem. I mean, I could easily just glue the mag up and so what I had to do, I tried to cut the thing. I cut it here, tried to fix it back up there, but it didn't work. I cut it here. Thought, see what I did? I cut it sort of shortened it up some. It's like the sole scratched two, three inches longer than it originally was. I don't understand it, man. Like this is like I said, this is size 14. And the shoe scratched out to a size 17 by the sole. Like the, the, the sole was too big for the shoe. It's like the sole was too big for the shoe. I ain't never seen nothing like it. It's like you can't even repair them back. Like the stuff scratch out like this. What in the world is they making these shoes out of, man? Magic? <laughs> I guess they they just they just say, well, oh, it's Timberlands. You can buy Tim's anyway, cause you no, know, we Timberland, we rude. Don't work that way. I I ain't, I don't support this company no more, man. The shoes doing this new. I'm spending all the good hard earned money in them, and they falling to pieces by just sitting in the room. You can see it's a brand new boot, and they falling apart like that. Look at here, man. Now, the only kind of Tim's that I, I do buy and will buy is these type ones. You know why? Because these were made back there in early 2000s, late 90s. These were when Timberland had its quality right here. The ones of the last five, the last 10 years of Timberlands, they don't have no quality in them, man. If you get them before 2008 on back to the late 90s, you get a good team. These classical. As you can see, sold in perfect condition. These here are almost two hundred dollars. Timberlands right here. I wore them as right much. You can't even tell it. Still made very well. Uh and you ain't gonna get too many like these guys that was made back in the late nineties and stuff like this. Tim's were better back in that day. I first started rocking Tim's like like ninety, ninety one. I was real young, you know, I was like what, maybe about 10, 11 years old, somewhere up in there when I first started rocking them, which was in the early 90s. And, um, yeah, man, uh, I started rocking 10, was like, I want to say like my 7th, 8th grade year in elementary school. So when you got Timberlands way back in that area, like 90, 91, somewhere up in there, they was better. They were better than the ones of today. They put more quality in them. So this one here, particular one, come from that era. As you can tell, it's an older style 10. So that, that's when they was made. They were made real good back in the day. The ones of today, this is what you get from the last 10 years. A hanging off sole and a fall off with the quality. and They're using that name, but they're not putting no quality into the boot. Like they did back in the day. Okay? I got several pairs like this that was made from back in the day. I got some that were made from the 1970s and 80s. That's really good condition. The quality was better. Way better back in the day. Alright, moving on. Another great Timberland to buy, guys. I think they still stick with the quality is the 6 inch. These. I got about 10 pair of these maybe. And um, all of these pretty much hold up pretty well. The six inch bro game type Timberland or what, what they call construction boot or whatever. Uh, these particular ones, in my opinion, the best ones to buy 
for if you look for durability and quality and stuff, these pretty much hold up. Haven't seen these, too many of these come apart. Very few, but not too many of these type of ones come apart. You know, this one probably made, I would say, probably, probably, mm, I would say this one probably made somewhere, probably mid-2000, 2006, 7, somewhere up in there, which they were made with better quality. Even 12, 13 years ago, they were made in a better quality. You can tell. You can even tell by the construction. You can just tell a quality boot. You can tell by the sole. You can tell back then they made them better than they do today. Okay, here's another one. It's not the same boot, now it's a different boot. Made with quality. Same style, but it's a different boot. See the soles, made with quality. This boot here probably released back there, I would say probably like 2004, 2003. Somewhere in that neighborhood, I just took really good quick care of them. I wear these for daily day. I wear these, this is an everyday wear. I wear these more than I do in them. As you can see, wash cars and stuff in them. See here? Done the best kind of Timberland, but the ones of today, God, they really fell off with the quality. What is it? What is it? You better all look for the old school teams because these new style ones, it's garbage. Completely garbage. But Timberland told me to send these in, but I refused. I'm kind of scared he didn't get a new shoe from them. Completely garbage. What I really want to do is fix these. I want to put a vibrant sole on them because I like the style of the boot. That's the real reason I didn't send them in because I'm looking around eBay and places so I get my size that I want. I'm going to put a vibrant sole up here. So how it's going to look, I'm going to just do away with the Timberland sole and I'm going to put a vibrant, put a vibrant sole up here, guys. Y'all know what I'm talking about, vibrant. They make some of the best souls in the game. And, uh, yep, so if you think about buying Timberlands of today, about think about what kind of quality that you're going to get because they really are deteriorating and falling apart. All right, guys, that's it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And, yeah, guys, watch how you buy those Timberlands because they really falling apart. All right, guys, take care, and I'll hit y'all on the next one. Peace out.